a very good day to all of you students student today i shall teach you class 10th economics lesson 3 name of the chapter is money and credit student our first point is collateral collateral is an asset that the borrowers possess such as student land building vehicles livestock deposit with bank student all these things are used by the borrower as a guarantee to the lender until the loan is repaid student if the borrowers fail to repay the loan if the borrowers fail to uh, repay the to give back the money then the lender has the right to sell the assets or the collateral to obtain the payment student in the absence of collateral nobody can take a loan from the bank so he has to take a loan from the money lender and student money lender harass the poor borrowers and they charge higher interest student there are two sectors formal sectors and informal sectors of credit or loans student in formal sector banks and cooperatives are the sources and the bank and cooperative charge less interest and student it result in more income in better condition of the borrower and there is a improvement in his financial condition and student reserve bank of india supervise the functioning of the formal sources of loan and on the other hand there is a informal sector so money lenders traders employers relatives and friends they all are the sources of informal sector and student informal sector sources charge higher interest and higher rate of interest result in less income for the borrower and sometime it leads to the debt trap also student there is no organization which supervise the functioning of the informal sources of loan and student money lender they do whatever is in their interest and sometime they harass the poor borrowers student besides the bank in the rural area there are cooperative societies student for example there are several types of cooperative uh, just as farmers cooperatives weaver cooperatives industrial workers cooperative student there is one krishi cooperative in sonpur it has 2300 farmers as members and student they all deposit some money and with these deposit the cooperative has obtained a large loan from the bank and student these funds they are used to provide loans to the member and once the loans are repaid then again they can take the loan from the bank and student krishi cooperative provides loans for the purchase of agriculture implements loans for the cultivation and agriculture trade fishery loans loans for the construction of the houses and for a variety of other expenses so we can say that the cooperative societies uh, play a great role in providing a uh, credit to the farmers student our next point is the gramin bank of bangladesh so it was started in 1970 it has 6 million borrowers in 40000 villages in student almost all the borrowers are women and they belong to poor section of the society student student these borrowers have proved that not only the poor women are reliable borrowers but they can start and run a variety of small income generating activities student gramin bank has played a significant role in the improvement of the condition especially of the poor women in bangladesh and student professor mohammad yunus he was the founder of the gramin bank and recipient of 2006 nobel prize for peace it has stated about the need of granting loan to the poor on the reasonable rate of interest next is the self help group it has 15 to 20 members and they all belong to the neighborhood they meet regularly and they save regularly student their saving is rupees 25 to 100 rupees regularly student the main aim of the self help group is to collect the deposit from all the members and the group takes the loan from the bank to create self employment opportunities for the members 
स्टूडेंट इन द ग्रुप ऑल द डिसीजन आर टेकन अबाउट द लोन एंड अबाउट द सेविंग्स एंड स्टूडेंट ऑल द मेटर्स रिलेटिंग टू द पर्पज अमाउंट इंटरेस्ट रेट रीपेमेंट शेड्यूल्स सो ऑल दीज आर डिस्कस्ड अमंग द मेम्बर्स ऑफ द ग्रुप स्टूडेंट दिस ग्रुप इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द रीपेमेंट ऑफ द लोन स्टूडेंट सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप इट हैज हेल्प द बॉरर्स टू ओवरकम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लैक ऑफ कोलेट्रल स्टूडेंट इट कीप्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंस फॉर द रूरल रूरल वूमेंस स्टूडेंट बिकॉज द बैंक्स आर विलिंग टू लैंड टू द पुअर वूमेन ऑर्गेनाइज इन एस एच जीज ईवन दाउ दे हैव नो कोलेट्रल स्टूडेंट बैंक प्रोवाइड्स द लोन टू द सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप विदाउट द कोलेट्रल स्टूडेंट बॉर कैन गेट टाइमली लोन एट ए रीजनेबल इंटरेस्ट रेट इट हैज हेल्प वूमेन इन द रूरल एरियाज to become financially self reliant and student the meetings of the groups provide a platform to discuss and act on a variety of social issues such as health nutrition and domestic violence so student thus self help groups are playing a significant role in the improvement of the condition of the poor particularly for women student next is the reserve bank of india reserve bank of india supervises the functioning of the banks student rbi monitors that the banks actually maintain the required cash balance it also sees that the bank gives loans not just to the profit making business or traders it also uh, must give loans to the small cultivators small scale industries and small borrowers and student banks also submit the information to rbi about the loans uh, which are sanctioned to the different categories of person along with the terms and conditions of the loan and student in this way rbi sees that loans are sanctioned to all including the poor student supervision of the reserve bank of india is necessary it is to know how much the banks are lending to whom they are giving money and at what interest they are giving money it is to ensure that the banks do not exploit the borrowers like the money lenders in the rural area so student these are the functioning of the reserve bank of india student i have taught you complete chapter i think you might have understood you like it share it to other student to get education you subscribe it for my next educational video Thank you have a nice day god bless you all